2001 in the um, fall semester and straddling um, 2002 um, into the spring semester. I was going to see Sally Jones um, in uh, the student advocate's office about um, the, um, at that point it had been three semesters that during um, finals um, someone had um, woken me every, um, you know, every time I fell asleep so that I didn't get any sleep that whole week. And um, I was trying to say it was academic interference. And I sat there in her office and explained to her, I mean, that these people are like, you know, generating gases and fumes and that it tends to coincide with um, major tests that I have. And um, that um, at that time I didn't know about meth labs. At that time, um, I had not processed that I grew up in a home where meth was being cooked and other kinds of dope um, starting in um, 78 or 79. And, um, but I had told Tommy that every time um, I seemed to be doing good, um, they had chemicals and things that they could use to make me stop seeming good. And that sometimes I would seem retarded and sometimes I'd seem really smart. And um, if, if I was going to get any benefits for being retarded, I'd seem really smart. If um, I was going to get a job, I would seem retarded. So, um, so anyway, at that time, Miles Brand um, was the um, president of IU, and uh, he seemed to be an honest, um, uh, an honest person. He died a few years after he stopped being uh, the president of IU. I don't. Know if he had an ongoing issue before I came back in 2000 or not. Um, but I wonder, because I got this um, message from next door today. Um, someone's talking about the environmental survey that they're doing, the health survey, and saying that they're working with the health department and all that. And if I, you know, I've got meth lab issues, they can report it and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I've been telling them that's my only health issue, but they aren't talking about that, they're just talking about gathering the figures, you know, so I kind of wonder who this person was, but anyway, I just told her, you know, I know when um, someone's cooking or smoking because I, I get pain, and um, I just determined from this that part of the reason for that is blood pressure spikes that I believe I've been having since my childhood, because Gramps... Gave, used to give me some honey that tasted like Colt's foot. So, but I also think that um, sometimes it's a seizure. I had a compound fracture in this arm. It wasn't significant enough to cause a lot of scarring. The bone just barely poked through enough that um, Becky couldn't ignore that um, I had a broken arm. And uh, so there may be a nerve in there pinched, and then when the blood pressure goes up or I have a seizure or something, um, that's where I feel the pain.